traded from the Pittsburgh Steelers to the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, Derek, it was the, the full trade, I believe, was Pickett in a fourth for a third and a seventh going back to the Steelers. Um, you know, Derek, it was reported shortly thereafter that, uh, you know, Kenny Pickett had said that he was okay competing uh, for his starting position uh, going into this next season. But then after the Russ signing, he was very unhappy and he wanted to be moved. Mm -hmm. So, Derek, when we consider the player not wanting to be in Pittsburgh anymore, uh, having to compete for his job, uh, and when you consider the actual trade itself, Derek, how do you feel about the Kenny Pickett era of Pittsburgh Steeler football coming to an end? Well, I'm disappointed it was as short-lived as it was. I'll put it to you <laughs> like that. Um, yeah, it's, this is insane. Like, when I saw Kenny Pickett... Uh, was being traded I'm like huh excuse me <laughs> like the Steelers lost Mason Rudolph to the Tennessee Titans okay um, but you know they signed Russell Wilson which I assume we'll get into at some point in depth but Kenny Pickett I was like yeah okay this is what he is he's a backup quarterback like when he was drafted I said the best he can be is okay like I think he can be an okay starter at best okay to good and, you know, his time in the NFL proved he's he's going to be a career backup. And it's hilarious to me how the Steelers wasted a first-round pick. So anytime that happens, very valuable. Very valuable for the rest of the division. Very valuable for the Browns. Because that's a, a key draft asset that was wasted. So I'll put it to you like that. But if Kenny Pickett was so upset being a backup, why is he going to Philly to be a backup? Like, explain to me how, oh, I'm pissed off you signed Russell Wilson. Uh, I don't want to be here because I'll be a backup. And then he goes to Philly to be a backup. Like, if he went to the Raiders or Minnesota or, I mean, they got Sam Howell now. That's another crazy move. But Seattle, like, if he went to one of those places, I'd be like, okay. Like, I understand it. He can compete and possibly start. But he's going to be Jalen Hurts' backup. Like, I I just, I don't know. It's hilarious to me. The Steelers quarterback room is quite literally in shambles right now. It is literally Russell Wilson. Kenny Pickett, gone to Philly. If you're the Eagles, I mean, Kenny Pickett's a, a fine backup. Like, he's an okay backup at the very least. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm just more so blown away that, like, the mentality of it. Of like, oh, you signed Russell Wilson, the guy who's flamed out in Denver the last two years. That's who you're so upset that you demanded a trade. Like, I, I just, I don't understand. It's one of these kind of not major moves this offseason, but it's one of these things that you just sit back and you're like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> like, what is going on? But Tristan, Kenny Pickett traded. What in the world? Yeah, so, so, like, you pretty much said it perfectly. Like, it's not, like, a major move, but it's, mm. like, it's an exciting move. Like, it, it's just, like, whoa, it was unexpected. Like, when I saw the notification on my phone, I just remember saying, what? Mm -hmm. Like, I thought I was getting trolled, but then I realized, no, it's my notifications. I'm actually following Ian Rappaport. It's the real Ian, Apper, Ian Rappaport tweeting mm -hmm. this. And, you know, it's, it's just so crazy to me, right? Because... I, 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 this is not a trade that's going to be remembered in, in like two, three years time, right? Like mm -hmm. the moves that are going to be remembered in two to three years time. You're talking, you know, Kirk Cousins to the Atlanta Falcons. You're talking Christian Wilkins going to the Raiders. You're talking Barkley to the, to the Eagles. Like those are the moves that are going to be remembered this off season. Right. And I think that's justifiably so those are big players, big names going to play important parts of these new teams and you know this is not a move that's going to be well known in a few years time but it's just something where right now in this moment it was so unexpected from the mm -hmm. Steelers organization and uh, you know I really felt like they were going to try to uh, pretty much let Kenny start the year and then pretty much let him fail and then put Russ in I thought that's how this was going to go Hmm. Um, 
And I honestly, as crazy as this is going to sound, Eric, I think it's for the better for the Steelers, if, unfortunately. Because whatever you think about Russell Wilson, whatever, you know, you yourself, Derek, or the listener, he is a Super Bowl winning quarterback. He has that pedigree. He's done it before. And it's not like he it, he had a terrible, terrible year last year. Like, when we look at his statistics, he was okay. I mean, it, it's just that team in general, that situation, mm. it was just not a great situation to be in. Versus Seattle, what he had before was very stable. So I, I really feel like Russ is actually going to potentially have a f- couple more good years in him. And I think he can do okay for the Steelers. I think he can be, you know, a top 15 quarterback for them. I don't see why that's crazy to say. I mean, especially when we consider what he did to us last year. Mm -hmm. Uh, This D-line really struggled against him. Um, They could not get to him because he he just used his feet really, really well, found his open guy, hit him, and it was hard to stop. And, uh, you know, for our defense to have that type of issue – it says a lot, and you know we're gonna have to play him twice this year, so we're gonna have to have a solution. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, moving off of Kenny Pickett is not something that was on my bingo card for the Steelers, and you know, Steelers fans, welcome to the club. <laughs> you know, having mm-hmm. so much hope, having so much promise, you know, delving too much into the tiny little glimpses of hope um, that the quarterback showed you convincing yourself he's the guy until ultimately hits you in the face it's not going to work mm-hmm. and that's what that's what this was so um you know pittsburgh fans welcome to cleveland <laughs> um yeah. you know uh hell it's even possible we're in the middle of that same situation we'll see hopefully not um but like it, it's just man 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 i mean trying to just think <laughs> this through is yeah. so just difficult. <laughs> it's so difficult. But what I will say is this, when we look at the Steelers organization, this I think was still the right move and as much as it hurts to, you know, hurts for them, I should say, to see a first round pick fail like this, you know, after 2 years you're moving on, um, you know, it was the right decision. It it really was. Um, Russ being your starter going into the next year, Avoiding drama in camp, you know, just having a clear direction with Tomlin at the helm, stability there, um, you know, they are going to be better for it. Um, and it sucks because it's like, damn it, I really wanted, I wanted a camp battle story from them. You know, that's what I wanted. I wanted division in their quarterback room. <laughs> that's what I wanted. Um, but too, too bad, I guess. Um, and... This is a team that, Derek, I know you're not high on the Derek, or Derek, jeez, the Arthur Smith hire. Um, and I get it. I get why the listeners aren't either. But let's think about this. The last time Arthur Smith was an OC, it was in Tennessee. He had an aging veteran quarterback who was mobile and Ryan Tannehill, who didn't necessarily have a rocket arm, but was solid, you know. Uh, he had a great running back in Derrick Henry. Obviously, I'm not going to compare Najee uh, or uh, Warren to you know to Derrick Henry, but the two of them combined may be able to get similar production. You know, mm-hmm. we'll see. Um, and they also had a great receiver in AJ Brown. And you know, I think George Pickens is a hell of a receiver. I know you feel the same, and it's a shame he's a Steeler. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. So when I look at the construction of the Steelers team right now, um, you know, if I was a Steelers fan, I'd be thrilled. You know, like you're, you're moving in a better direction at quarterback, in my opinion. Um, and you've got somebody different at OC that has had success as an OC prior. That's important. So, um, yeah, Derek, there's so much with this. You know, just try to take me through a little bit your thoughts on the Kenny Pickett trade. I just, I think it's hilarious. I think we're going to sit back one of these days and be like, yeah, remember when the Steelers had Kenny Pickett as their starter and their fan base was on Twitter talking about Pickett to Pickens and 
like how that's going to be. Somebody said, I forget, I, I'm not calling you out, but somebody on Twitter said Pickett to Pickens is going to be better uh, than the Randy Moss connection. And I'm like, brother. Andrew Filipponi. Yeah, at yeah. the Pony Express, I know who he is because he is so mm-hmm. <laughs> annoying. Uh, but it's so Dude. fun to troll him. Oh, oh, it's great. It's just like, what world are we living in? Like, say what you will about Russ, and I think, I think it's either going to be a huge boom of a signing or it's going to be a huge bust of a signing. I don't think there's any in between. I think you're going to get either. A really good version of Russell Wilson or it's going to be a disaster and I'm praying that it's a disaster but in terms of just Kenny Pickett in general like brother <laughs> that's a guy in the worst arguably the worst quarterback draft class of all time like everybody who was in that draft class is no longer on their team um, other than I want to say maybe Malik Willis is still a Titan I but think he's still a Titan yeah but he's not anything. I mean, he's nothing as far as um, competing for a starting job or anything like that. But, you know, the best quarterback in the class was the last pick of the draft with Brock Purdy, which is hilarious. But, yeah, I don't know. Kenny Pickett, gone from the Steelers. He's an eagle. Um, good for him. I think he's in a role that he is meant to be in as a backup. And that's not a disrespect thing. That's not a shot. I think that's just the truth. Some guys can play in the NFL as a starter. Some cannot. Kenny Pickett cannot. So I think it's hilarious that Steelers fans, we saw them try to convince themselves that they had an elite quarterback with a backup. Uh, so we'll forever remember that. But all in all, it's just funny. It, it's it, it really is. It's just funny to watch Kenny Pickett go out the door and – you know, what'd they get? A third and two sevenths or something like that? A third and a seventh. And they yeah. had to give up a fourth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, it's it's crazy, but it is what it is. We move on. <laughs> like, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. And, I mean, for Kenny Pickett himself, I mean, he, he must have hated being a Steeler so much. Mm-hmm. Like, honestly, like, that's that has to be what it was. Because I truly, I truly feel like he was going to be given an opportunity to be the starter this year. I really do. Um, especially when you consider they were only paying Russ like a million dollars. Like, mm-hmm. nothing. Um, yeah, yeah I, I think he may look back on it and regret it later in his career. Um, not just trying to beat out Russ, especially like a 35 year old Russ. Like, you know, like I, I still think he would have lost, mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know, he, he's, he, he, he has more room to grow, you know? So like he could have, he could have fought, he could have, and he didn't, mm-hmm. he didn't, he wanted and to And he was an Eagles fan growing up. So him yeah. and Mac Jones both get, that's another one of like, what the hell? <laughs> Yeah, like, it's just so it, crazy. Just weird moves. <laughs> weird moves. <Dude>. Yeah. Um <sighs> so if we but, honestly, like dead ass, if we sat here and talked about every move that has been made this off season, we'd be here for like two weeks straight. Like there is so much that has happened. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. But who's next, Tristan? Because <laughs> Yeah, so uh, the list I had previously is gone.